Hello everyone, we are going to solve exercise 3.1 page 88. In this exercise, it is given that the total assets is 2,500,000. The plant and equipment Two millions. The notes payable is one hundred fifty. The long term debt seven hundred fifty. The total equity. One million five hundred, and and in this uh, in this exercise, uh, there is uh, accounts payable and accruals as one account. So we have uh, accounts payable and accruals, but the balance is not given. However, in part A. It is required to find the total debt. The total debt in this exercise equal notes payable plus long-term debt. So it is that. So it is equal one hundred fifty. Plus seven hundred fifty equal nine hundred. Part B. In part B, it is required to find the total liabilities and equity. We know that the total assets equal total liabilities plus stockholders equity so the total liability plus equity equal total asset and we have the total asset in this exercise the total asset is 2,500,000 so the total liability and equity equal Two million five hundred. This is part B. In part C, it is required to find the balance of the current asset. The total asset in this exercise in this exercise are plant and equipment is fixed asset and Notes payable, long term debt, or liabilities, equity, uh, and we have so we have the current asset and the uh, plant and equipment only. So the current asset is not given as well. So in this exercise, the total uh, uh, assets equal current assets. Plus plant and equipment. The total asset is two million five hundred <clears throat> equal current asset plus plant and equipment is two million. We have only plant and equipment as asset and they are current asset to be calculated. So the current assets equal two five hundred minus two millions equal. 500 Part D In Part D it is required to find the current liabilities <clears throat> For current liabilities we know that we have the total liabilities 
we have the long term that as 750 and uh, we know that total liabilities and equity equal total liabilities plus equity so the total liabilities and equity previously calculated uh, same to asset two million five hundred So two million five hundred equal total liability plus equity. However, equity we have equity. The total equity is one million five hundred. So one million five hundred. So the total liabilities. equal 2,500,000 minus 1,500,000 the total liability equal 1,000,000 however it is required to find the current liability and not the total liabilities and we know that the total liability equal current liabilities plus long term liability the total liabilities is 1 million equal current liabilities to be calculated plus long-term liabilities we have long-term debt of 750 so current liabilities equal 1 million minus 750 equal 250 okay <clears throat> now part E In part E, it is required to find the amount of accounts payable and accruals. As uh, we know that uh, uh, we have accounts payable and accruals, but we don't have uh, the balance. So now in part E, it is required to find the balance of accounts payable and accruals as single account. In this exercise, current liabilities equal accounts payable and accruals plus notes payable. However, the current liabilities is 250 equal accounts payable and accruals plus notes payable is 150 so accounts payable and accruals equal 250 minus 150 equal 100 for part F It is required to find the networking capital. The networking capital, a networking capital equal current asset minus current liabilities. So the networking capital equal current asset 
is 500,000 minus current liabilities. Current liabilities is 250. So networking capital equal 250. Part G, it is required to find the net operating working capital. So the net operating working capital equal <coughs> current asset minus current liability minus notes payable. So net operating working capital equal current asset is 500 minus current liability is 250 minus notes payable which is given 150. So net operating working capital equal 400 part H they ask about the explanation for the difference in part F and G the difference between F and G is the difference between net operating working capital minus net working capital so this is this is the difference between g and uh, f so it is equal to 400 minus 150 minus 250 <coughs> equal 150 which is the notes payable the amount of the notes payable. Thank you.